this because I'm guilty of it every fucking day. I'm guilty of judging women based on what they fucking look like. And I know it ain't fucking good. Yeah, you know what the primary purpose of our video, as you so eloquently put it, she said it was, you know what that purpose she said it was? Our purpose was to get subscribers and to appeal to the masses, because this is why I right, chose... Okay, you know, okay, I'm not going to justify all that rhetoric. I mean, please, let's not argue the argument that's not really being made, because I don't think that's the substance of the uh, argument. I don't even think Ojama Flipper intended it to be the substance of the argument. I think he was just speaking out of the fact that he is defensive, because he has lived this for a, few, a week or two weeks or whatever it's been, of seeing this shit go on, and so this is his, uh, so some of his rhetoric might be extreme, but I just don't think you're being defensive now. That's all I'm going to argue. So everybody's arguing from a very, very defensive position, and so we're a little hostile, and maybe we should tone that down a little bit. But coming from me, that doesn't mean a hell of a lot. <laughs> so, you know, tone it down, people. Be more civil. Yeah, scary talking. Uh-oh. Hopefully it's just her connection. So let's leave a window open. Zombies, there she is. Nope, there she is. Back, back, gone. Here, there. Well, whatever. Um, so Lefty, how you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I heard the complexity <laughs> argument, and I thought I'd, I'd, I'd chime in. I, I agree. Um, <clears throat> when you're talking about sex, and you're talking about regulating sex, it is complicated, and I'm sort of tired of the same arguments <clears throat> on the other side that just say, well, just let's just open it up, and it's somehow some empowering thing for women. <clears throat> I think if the majority of the experience, if we did a survey of people who are actually prostitutes, even by liberal de definition, a majority is because of exploiting the guy or they're getting exploited. And I would say something that hasn't been brought up is the, the impact of drug addiction, which some people go into prostitution to pay for their habit. Like that, that isn't exactly enlightened entrepreneurship um, being expressed through their body. So I just, I just think it's very complicated. And just to say, well, it's an empowering thing, I think is, it just isn't the case. Gary, you're going to have to condition yourself not to have the sexist compulsory reaction. No, he's not. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's have the fun. We like Gary just the way he is. Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. I, you know, sexist is just part of our life, and I'm just saying that's why this, this is different than baseball. This is why, and even baseball, we can't come up with the right answer. Because like I said, what is the right answer? Is, is creating Tiger Woods ethically, morally correct? Shall we raise our children to be sports icons? I mean, really raise them to be that. I mean, make them sleep with the basketball. You know, tie the basketball actually to their fucking hand so they can't go anywhere without holding the basketball. Should we, should we stretch their fingers, you know, so their fingers can reach around the basketball? I mean, where does this go? This, this, this exploitation for the fucking, for the goddamn money. Let's exploit our bodies. Let's exploit each other. Let's, I mean, it is not, a, this is not healthy. It's not good. And it certainly isn't a subject that deserves some, I am woman, you know. <laughs> God, your video was just so, it was, it was just, it was a piece of shit. Gary, what about the, uh, the fact that it seems like it's just going to be an, an, an inevitability? Like, eventually, it's just going to be legal because... You yeah, know, well, it's, eventually, it's going to be legal, but it's going to be in virtual reality, and so it isn't going to matter, which is going to be so kick-ass, okay? <laughs> I actually <laughs> no, have that I video like, in my camera. I like, I like oh, having so it in my face, all right? I don't want it just in my eyes. I want it in my well, face. Well, you won't know the difference, fucker. I Trust me. You won't know the difference. I will. I will fight that shit to my dying breath. Well, you are dying okay. already, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> Isn't that what this room's for? Okay, let, let me know when I can speak. Yes, you can speak. Yes, I don't have to let you know. <laughs> you
<laughs> your, your request is granted. I'm I'm just I'm fucking upset. I mean I I'm upset about a lot of things, but I'm upset that this is what you extract from this video. That this is the message. That I am a woman and this is my body and this is my choice and this is. Uh, we said that, but why did we say that? Because women don't have this right now. Because prostitution is not legal and it should be legal because some women do want to do that. This instead two percent, of two percent, two percent, two percent, two percent, two percent of women are this what Hollywood hooker. Yeah, it's 2%. Of All right, the average woman being a hooker is like the average woman being a waitress. They're doing it because they got to do it. Not because they're saying, oh, man, I feel so exactly. actualized they in my life. Do I'm doing the job. I just couldn't wait to have this fucking job of spending 10 you hours being subservient to motherfuckers know. and, you know, polite to them when I don't want to be and completely own, just completely own. Like, I'm just a piece of fucking... Just a, a tool, a fucking, I'm a goddamn rake. I'm a fucking rake. Yes, I'm all actualized as a woman. Bullshit. Gary, what you're doing now is entertainment for Nuclear Knife and Ujama Flipper and another two pe people in this room. Well, whatever. No, it. it's not entertainment. Okay, I'm sorry. It. That's not fucking fair. So if you're going to bitch about being fair, that's really unfair. You know because I'm not performing for anybody. Me. I'm speaking out of my own goddamn irritation out of seeing your fucking video. Period. All right? It irritated me that you me group of women could be that fucking shallow on a subject of this significance. And it was a shallow fucking goddamn butchery of the subject of human sexuality. It butchered it. And you're still talking it, though. You're still saying that if there's, we, for the sake of these 2% of women who like the glamorous role of pretending to be a hooker, not really being a hooker, I mean, not really doing the hard hooker work, okay, the glamour hookers, let's do a video in defense of the rights of the glamour hookers, and we'll forget about all the rest of the women who are getting totally fucked. Who are you arguing against? Who the fuck is talking about that 2% of women? You said yourself that 90% of the waitress don't want to be waitress. But what if some women want to be hookers instead of be waitress? What if? It's just as Why bad that that's not action? defending one or the other. You're still defending the, the minority of the, of the group and you are ignoring the majority problem. The majority problem is the lack of choice. The majority problem is just the fact that it isn't an honest choice. It's a choice out of desperation and exploitation, okay? It is not liberation. Liberation is an insane word to put on prostitution. It just has no business being there because it is only a minority of sick motherfuckers like a black cat or something who, you know, just wants to put a I'm for sale sign on my door and go ahead. I don't care if you've got fucking AIDS. I don't care what the fuck you got. Go ahead and spunk it on me, baby. Gary, for the fucking last time, when she said this is my body and I should have the right to do with it, whatever I want, she meant that in most countries prostitution is illegal. And there are very few choices for people, not for women, but for people, men included, to have decent jobs. So therefore there are people working at McDonald's and people being waitress and people cleaning toilets and people who cannot be prostitutes even if they wanted to instead of cleaning toilets because these are the only options, not because of patriarchy but because of fucking capitalism and because of this country that I'm giving the example here that it's so fucking poor. And it doesn't fix any of these problems. It doesn't. The toilets are still going to have to be cleaned. All right? And all you're doing is, 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 is creating, a, a, what you like I said, what shouldn't be an industry in the first place. You're just saying, let's find something else to exploit. We, we're not exploiting people bad enough, so let's open up some more exploitation. That's, it's just it's more bad, yeah, not not less bad. Yeah. You're not going to create less bad in the fucking world, are you? No. Will there be will there be more? Will there be the less exploitation in the world? No. Yes, there will obviously be less exploitation in the world if this shit is legalized and regulated, and not just left.